Okay, here's the thing guys. You don't need a drum set to practice drums. Stick around and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I didn't rehearse this. I'm just gonna build a little drum set for you guys. I have a couple household items with me and a couple things that you could purchase that really, really help out. Um, but I really wanna show you, if you're a young musician just starting out and you don't have a drum set yet, there's still a lot you can do to practice, play, express yourself, have fun, and uh, kind of let that energy out. Okay, check it out. This is a couch, <laughs> just a couch. I'm gonna grab a pair of drumsticks here and practice my rudiments on the couch. Okay. Five stroke roll, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. Okay, sure, but what else? Well, it's uh, holiday season. I got a box here. This is uh, from an Amazon order, and I got a pair of brushes. Okay, so this is a purchase you might want to make. Plastic brushes, wire brushes, um, they sound great and they sound good and a little quieter on regular household objects, but they sound great on a box, a pizza box, a little box like this. Lots of fun. Okay, you can practice a rock beat. What if I play on the couch here and... Okay, what else? What do I got here? What if I want a different sound? Look, just a little baking tray. Okay, you don't have brushes, sticks will work. Don't have sticks, you can get these kinds of things, little wooden spoons from the kitchen, whatever you have, okay? Long chopsticks, uh, let's see. not. Okay, what else? What do I got here? Uh, a little Tupperware container for a tom, right? Maybe it'll sound better if it's hollow. Get a little more. Okay, sorry, I think my cell phone's making the, the speakers trip out a little bit there. Uh, one last little thing, check this out. This is one of my favorite tricks. Oh, by the way, you can also, if you have a practice pad, if you have a practice pad, you know, that's... a really good handy practice tool. Get them for 20, 30 bucks, uh, even less, and they come in different sizes, seven inches to 10 or 12 inches. and you can practice all kinds of stuff on the pad. And then you could com combine that. Um, with your little home practice setup. Okay, this last little hack is my favorite. You could also stick a couple egg shakers in your sock. And it sounds awesome. I'm putting them in my right, it could be in your left, you could do different things like that, and it just gives a little more texture, a little more sound as I tap the floor here. Listen to this. Okay, so last little jam for you, 
Thanks for watching. Listen, if you're interested in practicing drums at home, I have a link in the description to my new book. It's called The Fun Drum Book for Kids. And with this, it gives you tons of exercises, different creative practice ideas, um, weeks and weeks and months worth of practice material for less than the price of one drum lesson. Check it out. And it also goes through some of these potential practice setups at home and uh, rudiments, rock grooves, song ideas, solo ideas, uh, tons of value in this new book. Check it out on Amazon, link below. Here's a last little ditty for you guys. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Okay, I'll keep working on that. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Cheers.